he is executing extremely well. Some players have the ability to immediately adapt to a correction you make. Yes! It has to do with the quality of the player. He was serving like a left dominant eye. His technique had to be adapted to a right dominant eye and... Oh la la! Oh, a nice! What I love in my academy is to work on building the future of tennis. Spending time on the court with young players with potential and helping them solve their problems and improve. Today, I show you how I work with Denzel, a huge potential 12 years old British player. I made some technical improvements on his serve in relation to his dominant eye. You can do the same for yours. That was great as the improvement was immediate and massive. When I start a session with a young player, I have no idea what I'm going to work on, but I observe and I take the time to look at the player in a lot of different situations and I look at what their strengths are and I also look at what they can improve and how can they do uh, maybe a forehand better, a backhand better. Generally speaking, they hit good backhands, good forehands, good serves, but there is always a margin for uh, improvement. What is your best shot, forehand or backhand? Ah, good, tough question. Yeah. Both. Uh, <laughs> I think my, my backhand is very solid. Okay. But I think I'm, I can be more aggressive with my forehand. That's a very good answer. Thank you. And uh, with the backhand, you can hit all the zones easy or? When I'm inside the court, I like going down the line. Okay. In the rally, I like going just cross court deep. Mm -hmm. Just to set up my forehand. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then you turn around the backhand and you attack. Okay, I see. So he, he told me he, was, he feels more solid with the backhand. Yes. But he can, uh, he can hurt more with the forehand. That's what you said, right? Yeah. You agree with you? Okay, good. <laughs> I noticed that his backhand was uh, short most of the time. That was the first thing I noticed. What I see with the backhand, which is definitely solid, I understand why it's more difficult to hurt with the backhand, ex except when it takes early and goes down the line, this he likes. It's because the motion is, very, is a bit like, like this. Doesn't really go through. So I'd like to, to see a bit of those. Because I want you to hurt on both sides. <laughs> so I show you what you are doing. Put yourself in position, yeah. I exaggerate, huh? but you're hitting the ball and then you go a bit like this and then, and then you finish. Which means that the, the, the motion is very much like this. So the ball is deep, it's solid, no problem. But when you want to hurt, you have to be able to go through and then finish, okay? And if the ball is out for the moment, we don't care because you're going to have more power without trying to, but you'll uh, slowly adapt, don't worry, okay? We don't care. What we want is to feel that the hands are going through the ball and then you can finish it. So let's go cross, which is the more natural. There is nothing to work, he does it straight away. <laughs> now we mix, cross and down the line. And after we'll mix uh, both with more spin and both with more power and pace, okay? So cross, one cross, one down the line, going through on every ball. If the ball is out, we still don't care. But if it's in, it's better. No, I'm joking. Oh, yes. Again, again, this one, push with your hands, push. Yes. Your hands go where you want the ball to go. Yes, perfect, this one. And cross, push. Okay, again, push, push, push. While working with yes. him to find depth, I found out that he could be better at finding angles. So we worked also on improving his way to open the court with the backhand in order to push the opponent away from the court on the sides and then open the court for the next shot. Yes, better. Do it. Go, go. Oh, sorry, sorry. Go. No, no, it's okay. I'm here on purpose. Push. You can, you can put the ball here. He has to cross here and go there. Cross and go. Yes! That's what I wanted to see. Go, 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 go. Yes, you see the difference? Stop. You see the angle? Yeah. If you go only sideways, your body continues most of the time sideways. That's what happened a few times. And then you, you, you play in the middle. If you want to find the angle, you, what you did, because I was there, you didn't want to hit me. Thank you, by the way. You, you passed in front of me, so you, you cut the trajectory. You came in, and then it was easier for you to go where you wanted to go. A few more of those, that was really good. Very good shot, such a good shot. Yes. You can go down the line on this one, go down the line. How good is that? Cross. 
Yes. Now we're gonna mix. One deep with spin. One faster with angle. Yes. And one short. Come again, come, 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 come. Oh yes. How good is that? Again. One deep. And one short. Okay, very good. You know, when you're here, your hands, they find the zone. Huh? Your body follows and the hands find the zone with your hands. So if you go only here, you cannot find the zone, you're gonna play middle. That's why I want your hands to really go for it. Push far and deep. Yes, that's the one. And now short. It was tough. One more, one more. Go with your hands. Yes. I'm happy I'm not on the other side of the court. I can tell you. Find deep, heavy. Next one, you open the court. And third one, you, you finish the guy down the line. <laughs> wow, parfait. Perfect, this one. Hands. No. Again, this one, with your hands. Yes! And now you go down the line and you finish the guy. Yes! You play deep. Okay, it's okay. I prefer too deep than not deep enough. Short. Yes! And finish. Woo! Deep. Again, it's not deep enough. Correction. Yes, much better. Short cross. Yes! And you finish down the line. Very good. You don't see the guy on the other side, but I can tell you he's running a lot. <laughs> good job. Thank you. I decided to work also on the serve because I felt that Denzel was uncomfortable serving. And I don't know why, but I also felt that it could have a link with his uh, dominant eye uh, because he was serving like a left dominant eye. I wanted to be sure that it was left dominant eye, which I was not sure of. And he happened to be right dominant eye. So that then I realized that his technique had to be adapted to a right dominant eye and I was sure that he would feel much more comfortable like that and that he will have better results. Do you know, what, do you know his dominant eye or not? Uh, right. I remember your surf from the last summer and I think it's much better. Can we add a little bit something? Yeah. Okay. Look at where you want to serve. You're going to toss? And your head is going to go like this. And I would like you to keep it here. Of course, you have to see the ball because your dominant eye is this one. Okay, and I, I want your dominant eye to always have behind the ball, the view of the court and not lose it. Okay, I'm supposed to be somewhere around. Don't lose me with your eye. You have to see me all the time. Yes. Yes, I don't care about the serve. Good. That's exactly it. Yes. Okay, exactly. The idea for you is just to put the ball in front of you and serve it like this. Bam! You know, there are two dots and the, 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 the shortest distance between the two dots is the straight line. So the straight line to where you want to go is here. So put the ball in front and hit it. And don't think about anything else. Okay, go. Put it in front of you and hit it. Yeah, perfect. Here, yes. Perfect. First serve, first ace. Let's see what, what comes next. In front of you, yes. Yeah, much better. Much more natural. More natural, no? The problem is a lot of guys, I'm talking about players, huh? they copy a player they like, yes. and maybe the guy is left eye dominant, and he turns his shoulder, but he can. But when you're right, you can, but it's not good. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's more uncomfortable. Ah, you turn your head again. I can, I can send you examples of players who are right eye dominant. Actually, uh, for example, uh, Medvedev, he serves. You don't see him turn his head at all. He's here and it's boom, in front, in front of you. Yeah. Bravo. Ah! For the moment, you have to pay attention because naturally but you're used to doing the other one. So the, one, the only one you didn't pay attention, immediately you did it <laughs> in front. What did you say? Say it again, louder. Very natural. Ah. <laughs> Oh la la! Ah, you want to stop there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's stop there. Uh, what we're gonna do? We're gonna do uh, this uh, box now. Yeah. I mean, take a break. We're gonna do this box first, the T, bam, and then after we're gonna do the slice. Toss in front, and the head comes in, stays in front. Yes. Yes. Up. <laughs> I liked. <laughs> do exactly the same. Exactly the same, but when you have a contact with the ball, instead of being like this, close it. 
Okay. If it goes too far, no, don't worry. If it's too much, it's too much. You, you will uh, find your way. Very good. The toss was tough, it was on the left, but very good. You see, the spin? you have more spin like that. The more you close the head of the racket, the more the ball is going to turn. The more you open, the more it's going to be flat. So then you can adjust, you decide. You don't hit the slice because you go and you hit flat and you go with your body. Because first, you give a lot of information to your opponent. <laughs> and second, because the ball is going to go straight and what you want is the ball to be curvy and bring the opponent out, right? So the best way to do that, that is to use more the hand. This is where you do it. The opponent has no idea where you're going to serve. If you decide to serve flat, you keep your hand like this and you go here. If you want to serve spin, you open your hand and you cut the ball. First one is T. Boom. Okay. Now you do exactly the same, but you, you, you do that with your racket. That's it. Okay? That's what you did? Surprising, yeah? <laughs> T. Yes. Now you close the racket head and we see what's, what's going on. Oh, a nice. <laughs> Good. Again, one of each. Et voilà. I think we have to stop there because you did just two aces, two aces in a row. Great job. Congratulations. Thank you. Max, great job. Great job with the kids. Amazing. I was very impressed by Denzel. First, because he's listening and he's executing. And he is executing extremely well. Uh, it's not something that, is, that everybody has. Some players have the ability to immediately adapt to something, to a correction you make. You make a change. For some players, it takes a few seconds, for some, a few minutes, for some, a few days, and for some, a few months to be able to take that change and make it efficient in the game. The change was right, but it's not because it's right that it works straight away. It has to do with the quality of the player. If you want to know everything about how to build your technique according to your eye dominance, check my masterclass on my YouTube channel.